everyone, Joey here. Welcome to my channel. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. And if you are new here, I put out content that is planner related, daily living, organization, and also some teacher videos. If that sounds like content that you are interested in, then I invite you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. That way you can continue to receive my content. All right, let's see what I have in store for you today. Hi guys, it's Joey here. Today I thought I would pop on and do a really quick review um, for you today. I was contacted by this company, Parku. They asked me if I wouldn't mind to review a set of their gel pens that they have for sale. So they sent these gel pens to me um, and asked me to give an honest review. And I said that of course I wouldn't mind to do that at all. I want to give you a, a, a review of each of these colors. They sent me a pack that has two red, six blue, and 12 black. I know that they do offer other colors as well. They offer like a multicolor pack, um, and I will link that in the description below, as well as this pack. If you're anything like me, you use mostly black in your spreads, um, maybe some blue. But anyways, I thought I would give a review for you, and if you stick around to the end, I have a surprise for you, all right? All right, so let's open this up. Um, now, I will be honest, I already, I did open one up already and I am using it uh, in my Hobonichi cousin, but I wanted to open a fresh one for you. All right, so I am going to kind of compare this pen to a couple of others that are really popular. Um, the Pilot G2 in point five, I believe this is in point five. Yes, it is. Um, and then also the Papermate Ink Joy Gel. This one is in 0.7. So um, this one is a 0.5 millimeters as well. However, it says extra fine point. So I will compare um, how this one writes compared to this one, which is a 0.5, and um, and my 0.7. So let's open up first. I, I'm going to put my Hobonichi to the side and we'll talk about that in a minute. But I'm going to open up to the back of my Erin Condren and just kind of use one of these pages at the end as sort of a pen test page. Let's use this one right here. All right, so let me start first with this one and this is the Parku 0.5. So let's see how... And it says it's quick drying, so let's see. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Okay, so it writes really smoothly. Um, I can tell that it's a finer point just because of the way it writes. You know, typically when you have, I'm gonna zoom this in for you. Typically when you have a finer point, you can you feel a little more uh, grip to the pen and the paper. Um, and so it's it's not a it's not a rough write. It doesn't write roughly if that makes sense um but you can tell that it's a finer point based on how it's writing um all right let's compare it with the pilot g2 then that is also a 0.5 okay i could immediately tell already that the ink flow on this one is so much heavier than the ink flow that came out of the part coup um, and it's dry, but I'm going to, I'm going to do it again over here. Okay. There's a little smudge right there at the very end. Let me go back up here and smudge this one immediately as well. And that one doesn't smudge at all. So it does dry faster. The Parku definitely dries faster than the Pilot G2. All right, now let's test the Parku up against our Papermate Inkjoy um, Gel 0.7. Okay, there's no smudge there. It definitely has the Parku and the Paper Mate look to me exactly the same when it comes to um, the the size or the ink flow uh, out of the pen. 
Um, they definitely are the same. So even though this says it's a 0.5, it writes like a 0.7, if that makes sense. Um, okay, so let's look on the back of the page. I don't, maybe you're picking it up a tad, but, um, but I use the Inkjoy in my Erin Condren all the time. So um, it's very, very, very light. You can barely notice it. And that's with, um, that's with all of them. So let me, again, let's write the, the Parku next to the Paper Mate. Do the swipe test. Completely dry. Turn it over. Yeah, they look the same to me when it comes to shadowing and when it comes to ink flow. The Pilot G2 definitely had a heavier flow coming out of it, so it's much darker and is not nearly um, as fine point as far as writing goes. All right, um, as far as the grip and how this pen feels, I like it. It's, um, it is a plastic barrel. Um, there is nothing on it like this one has, you know, sort of a rubber... Oh, I should be in frame here. <laughs> I apologize. Um, so like the Paper Mate has sort of a rubber coating around the barrel. So um, when you grip it, you know, you feel that. The Parku doesn't have that. However, it with it being a plastic barrel, it does have some sort of a texture to it. So it does feel comfortable in the hand when you go to write. Um, also, it's um, the, it's not a cap. It's a, it's a click pin. So that I don't know if that matters to anyone. I like it because I like to use, I don't like to mess with lids. So that to me is a bonus. Um, okay, so that's how it works in my Erin Condren paper. Let's take a look at the Hobonichi. Okay, so in the back of my Hobonichi, I have a couple of pages that I've not that I'm not going to use so we'll just look at this one right here sorry I had to zoom out just a little bit so that you would get a better look at what I'm doing all right so the Hobonichi paper is a very very different kind of paper it is a Tomoe Tomoe I think I'm saying it right <laughs> Tomoe river paper is what it's called um, it has a special coating on the paper so that it is um, it's pretty slick and it's extremely thin. It reminds me of paper that is in a Bible. So it's extremely thin and it has a special coating on it which actually keeps a lot of pens from drying very quickly on it. Um, so that is why I wanted to compare it with, I'm not even going to compare it to the G2 because to be honest, I know this is not gonna dry fast enough. Sorry, I'm really out of focus. I know this is not gonna dry fast enough and it's gonna immediately smudge. Um, and the flow of it is much heavier. So I feel like as a contender in comparisons, this one is really out. But I do feel like that the ink, the Paper Mate Inkjoy gel pen and, and Parku are very, very similar right now. Um, so I'm gonna compare both of these in the back of my Hobonichi and just kind of test it out to see what it's like, so. I'm gonna do the smudge test. So there you go, immediately it does smudge. Let's try the Paper Mate Ink Joy, which I knew this would smudge because, um, because all gels smear, all gels smear. And I think that it smeared pretty similarly. Maybe the Paper Mate just, just a tad lighter. Now I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna write and I'm gonna leave it for about three seconds or so. Or maybe I'm gonna write, you know, and then leave it for about five seconds and then I will do the smear test and see if it, how it does. And while that's drying, I will go back and write this one. All right, now I'm gonna do the smear test on the Park Who 0.5. And there is a little smearing, but not not nearly as much. Let's just test the Paper Mate and a little bit of smearing. So here's what I take away from this. I think that, and I'll zoom it in a little closer so you can see. 
Um, I do think that both of these pens are very um, comparable. I think they're very, very comparable. Now here's the kicker. Amazon has this pack listed, the same pack that I am re reviewing for you right now, at $10.99. Plus, you can get a 20% off coupon at checkout, okay? Which makes this roughly about 10 bucks in general. That's for 20 of these gel pens, all right? And that includes the 12 black, the six blue, and the two red. That's a really good price. Let's see what Amazon has the Ink Joys listed at. Okay. So, Amazon has a Papermate 10 pack, just the 10, so half the amount of what Park uses for $11.14 for $11, so it's higher than the 20 pack and it's half the amount. So if you're looking for a comparison in pens, I would have to say that this is a fairly decent pen, if not a really good pen that is very comparable to a Papermate Inkjoy, and it's half the cost. So these um, listed on Amazon, I'll have the link to them below if you wanna click on it, um, if you're interested in ordering them. I just think that for the price, yeah, I would totally, I actually, I stopped, and I won't, I mean, obviously I'll continue using this Papermate um, to an extent, but I really like the way this one writes. And so I've actually been writing with this one in my planners and I'm enjoying it. So yeah, I thought I would do a quick review. I wasn't so sure if I was gonna like it or not. I've never heard of this company. Um, and so I was kind of leery of how it was gonna turn out. But to be honest, I was really pleased. Now. Is it something that I would write into my Hobonichi and then close immediately or something? No, I would let it sit and dry or I would just use a ballpoint pen. But I am not a ballpoint pen person. I prefer a gel pen. So, um, because it just, I don't know. I just like my handwriting better with a gel pen in comparison to a ballpoint pen. So anyways, I thought I would just jump on here and give you the comparison of this pen and the review of what I think of this pen. What do I think of it? I think it's a great buy. I think that if you're looking for a pen that's very comparable to a Papermate Inkjoy and you don't wanna spend the money, then you definitely should check out these. All right, now, I mentioned that I would have a surprise at the end of this video. I went ahead after opening up this package earlier, well, last week, um, and kind of trying out this pen for a couple of days, I decided that it was a pen that I wouldn't mind to um, give away to anyone who subscribes. So, um, I am gonna be doing a giveaway with this and I have three requirements. The first thing you need to do is you need to follow my Instagram and I have my Instagram listed below. So you need to follow my Instagram, subscribe to my channel, and then give me a like and a comment. I sort of combine those two together. A like and a comment that you did both of those things. That way I'm gonna put your name into a generator. That way they can randomly pick the winner and I will mail these pens to you. So if you are interested in doing that giveaway, then go ahead and just do those things. Follow my Instagram, subscribe, like and comment and then I will enter your name into the giveaway. And then I am gonna give you guys a week from today. So I, so today is Tuesday the 18th. I will be choosing the winner on Tuesday the 25th. All right, so you have from, from the 18th to the 25th to enter this giveaway and then whoever wins, I will contact you, I will message you through Instagram, so then I can mail these to you, all right? I'm gonna be doing a giveaway once a month. So this happens to be my August giveaway. I will be doing a September giveaway and I've already ordered what I am going to be giving away for that. Um, so some of my giveaways might include things that I see on Amazon that I'm reviewing. It could be um, sticker kits that I really, really love from sticker shops that I really enjoy. And um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you know that um, this does not, when you enter this giveaway, this does not exclude my already subscribed people that uh, follow me on Instagram and YouTube. Um, 
it does not exclude you. So make sure that you um, let me know that you have already subscribed or um, you are already following me on, on Instagram. I just do that so I can go back and double check and make sure um, and verify both of those things before I put you in for the giveaway. Yeah, so I'm gonna be doing this giveaway once a month. This one is for August, and then I'll have another one in September. All right, I hope you guys have a great week, and I will talk to you soon.